all right everybody welcome back to the channel today is gonna be a true test man the wind is blowing yesterday the wind was blowing 40 plus mile per hour the wind gust um, today it's about half that but you know how you get those days where it's more of a gust than just a regular wind you know it's gusting a little bit with a lot more um, that's the type of date this is so it's gonna be a challenge um, so there's it's gonna be a lot of sitting down today not gonna really do too much standing I'm gonna also look for some uh, protected areas in which to fish um, but um we're gonna be on Lake Hartwell today it's a beautiful day outside it's just windy you just look at my little mask I mean they just show you I'm on the inside of the truck and look at it look at how it just waving at everybody but um again we're gonna be on Lake Hartwell we're gonna be targeting both spotted bass and largemouth bass it's the it's been a while since I've been here I've not been here since the winter time so you know it's the pre-spawn or the spawn so pulling up on some good size spotted bass and largemouth bass is gonna be the ticket for the day and I'm gonna bring y'all right along with me let's get the fish The hook never did penetrate his mouth. I don't understand why when I come to Hartwell, I have trouble setting the hook on fish. Got a good one. Yep, that was my first one of the day, y'all. Old spotted bass. Nice, pretty one, too. Nice, pretty. Two inches. Too little. All right, everybody, let's go to the first one of the day. Thank you for buying, young guy.
another one. Man, that, that kind of looks like a, it's a dark spot. It's not going to be big enough. But there goes another one. Thank you for the bite. All right, been fishing for a few hours, man, and struggle bus have come through. Um, I've had one bite on the spinner bait, had one on the swim bait, missed them both. Um, also had a about a four pounder on a Ned rig. I mean, not Ned rig, but a shaky head, came a loose. You know, anytime you see a bass elevate out of the water and his mouth is still shut, them hooks have not penetrated that the jawline of that fish and the minute that fish open his mouth he coming off um so if you pay a close attention to that anytime you hook a fish and he he come to the surface that mouth is already open indicating that you don't hook that fish but anytime you see that mouth still closed that 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 hook have not penetrated that fish and you have a great chance of then losing that fish um but i'm tossing around the spinner bait this bank right here got a lot of um, blow from the boats and the wind, uh, so it's a little bit muddy. So I've been casting around this uh, spinner bait around the lay downs and everything, trying to, you know, trying to see if I can pick up me one off a of spinner bait. It's one of my least fished um, lures is a spinner bait. So been trying to gain some confidence in it. The wind's blowing muddy water. Um, I'm throwing one that got three different blades on it, probably a little too much. But that was the one that I felt like throwing, so that's what I'm that's what I'm casting. Uh, just this little area right here is a long flat. I think I might be sitting in four feet of water. Um, it's it just a flat goes out to a point. Um, so I'm just going to cast this around. I'm going to get a little closer to some of those shallow trees over there, close as I can. I'm going to throw the spinner bait up in there. Hopefully I can run across a large mouth that's sitting over there bedding or something. Um, this bank is more like a, I don't know, maybe a sand, muddy bank, which ain't a good thing, but maybe I'll catch one slipping. Oh yeah. Come on. Got him in the boat. Got him in the boat. All right. Fourteen. 
14.75. That boy catapulted himself up out of the off the bunk board into the water. <laughs> That's funny right there. Little short one. <laughs> Little short one. He stopped bass, but he. All right. Little stop large mouth. No, nah, he's a. Yeah, he's a large mouth. Thank you for buying. Ooh, we got a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got a man. Got a nice one. <laughs> good spot. Good spot. I tell y'all what happened on that bite right there. What happened on that bite right there? I just happened to be passing this little point right here, and I I just heard an explosion behind me. I mean, like right over the spot where I had just went over. Decided to pick up my swim bait, turn back around and go back. Well, no, just spin around and throw it, and. When I spent the round to throw it, come up with this girl, this beautiful spot right here. It's got to be another one in there. He was actively feeding on top of the water, so had to try to go back and get him. Ended up getting him. Come on now, lock that, lock them little lips in. Boy, these some difficult fish. He's uh right around 16. Man, that's a, that's a good spot right there. Let's get back in there and see if we can catch another one.
got one. Got another one right here. Yeah. Good Lord, tonight. Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for the day. A mixed day. I lost a couple of good ones, um, but managed to catch a few. Uh, so Hartwell is still kind of fishing rough, you know, for me. Um, but I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. If you stuck all the way through the end of the video, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe, turn that bell notification on, and uh, I'll holler at you on my next video. <laughs>